So it looks like the new Batman Brave and the Bold film that's coming out over on DC as a part of James Gunn and Peter Safran's new reboot of the DC Universe, soft reboot, hard reboot, whatever we're going to call it at this point, now has a director. And it's a pretty damn exciting name. It's Andy Muschietti, the guy who's now directing or the directing the film that is now out in theaters, The Flash, an absolutely wonderful film that I absolutely adore, Flash. And it's now official. He's going to be directing the new Batman franchise for the brand new DC. Uh, and it's going to be Brave and the Bold. It's going to involve Bruce Wayne's son, Damian Wayne, who if some people who don't read the comic books are probably not familiar. He's the daughter of Bruce Wayne and one of Ra's al Ghul's daughters. It's really interesting that they're going to be going in this direction. Now, the news comes to us from the folks over at The Hollywood Reporter who write the following. Ahead of the release of the superhero movie The Flash, Muschietti has decided to keep his feet firmly in the land of DC. Andy Muschietti finalized a deal to direct Brave and the Bold, the feature project that will introduce a new big screen version of Batman, one that will fit into the expansive universe being developed by DC Studios heads James Gunn and Peter Safran. Now, for anybody who might be a little bit behind or not cut up to the news, you might be saying to yourselves, well, wait a minute, as I'm sure a lot of people are. I, I, I thought... I thought Robert Pattinson was Batman. No, Batman. Now, no. So what's going to happen is Matt Reeves's Batman movies take place outside of the DC universe, much like Joaquin Phoenix's the Joker movies happen outside of the DC universe. So we're going to have those stories running for at least two more of Matt Reeves's Batman movies happening while the brand new DC universe gets up and running. And look, it was a no brainer that somewhere in the first stage of the development of a new DC universe, you have to have Batman. I mean, you can't not, and listen, I've heard the complaints. I get it. Some people say, why another Batman? Why do they keep going Batman? Well, there's a reason they keep going back to Batman because Batman is their guy. Batman is one of, if not the most recognizable pinnacle characters in that you simply cannot start a brand new DC universe without having Batman as a part of it. So that's pretty clear. But listen, there's a number of reasons why I think Andy is a really good pick for this. And it's not just that he's done The Flash. Let's take a look at some of Andy's other notable projects. Mama, which he did with Jessica Chastain. And I keep forget. I can't, I can never pronounce the name of the guy who played Jamie Lannister. Nikolai Walja Walja Walja. Yes, it's difficult. Yeah, something along those lines. Jamie Lannister. Anyway, not the most popular of all little horror films. I really liked Mama. I thought that was a really good movie. He then parlayed that into It, which of course was a surprise, huge smash hit, and I thought an absolutely wonderful film. Then he did the sequel to it, It Chapter 2. I confess, I think that's the weakest film on this particular list. I didn't love It Chapter 2. Didn't hate it, but I didn't love it. But then he followed that up. Of course, and did The Flash, which is now in theaters, and I do love this movie. Uh, not one of the greatest comic book films of all time, like some people might be suggesting, but I think it is a great movie that I had a lot of fun with. And to see that he's now coming in and doing Batman, and you know what? None of us should be surprised. James Gunn has been heaping praise on this Flash movie. I, I mean, here's the funny thing. It's almost a little unfair of James Gunn. That while he's got Aqu an Aquaman movie coming out, he's got a Blue Beetle movie coming out, and of course they had Shazam 2 coming out, James Dunn, Gunn didn't go running around talking about how great those movies were. All he talked about is Flash is one of the greatest comic book films of all time. And it's just kind of like being a father of four and picking your favorite kid, which is maybe not the, the most diplomatic thing for him to do. But it should be no surprise that he's been talking so much about Flash that he would want... Andy to come in and be one of the key directors of this new stage. I'll tell you one of the other things that this suggests to me, that there is not going to be a Flash sequel. This suggests to me that there's not going to be a Flash sequel. And if there is, it's a minimum five or six years away. So I, I think this kind of puts a nail in that, that there's not going to be a Flash sequel. Again, there's nothing in the reports about that. That's just me purely blindly speculating. We'll see how true or not true that is. 
We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of today's video, Masterclass. With Masterclass, you can learn from the world's best minds anytime, anywhere, and at your own pace. You can learn filmmaking from James Cameron himself, you know, the guy who made three of the four biggest films of all time. Improve your writing by taking screenwriting from one of the greatest who's ever done it, Aaron Sorkin. Or maybe learn how to make great comedic content by taking comedy by the one and the only Judd Apatow. And many of you guys know I'm a big poker guy, and I recently got a chance to sit down and watch Daniel Negreanu, one of the greatest poker players in the world, teach poker. It was absolutely fantastic. But guys, whatever you're interested in, there is a class for you with over 180 exclusive classes taught by the instructors you know and love. And you can explore lessons in any order you'd like, across your phone, tablet, Apple TV, computer, and on the go with audio mode. Individual lessons range from about 10 to 15 minutes in length that fit easily into your everyday life. Guys, I highly recommend you check it out. Get unlimited access to every class and as a John Campia show listener you get 15% off an annual membership. Go to masterclass.com slash Campia now. That's masterclass.com slash Campia for 15% off Masterclass. Question is for you guys. What do you think about this? The Flash director is now going to be directing this next iteration of Batman, Batman Brave and the Bold, that's going to have Damian Wayne in it. I think this is a terrific fit. I love the way that he managed DC characters, his sensibility in doing a comic book film. He obviously is really good at getting edge and tension with his horror background as well. He's just, at the end of the day, a really good storyteller. And I am personally very excited to see him on. And clearly, James Gunn and Peter Safran are probably pretty hyped about it too. How do you you guys feel about this do you think this is a good choice were you hoping for somebody else whatever you guys think jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts hey guys thanks for checking out our video make sure you click the thumbs up button on it and subscribe to our channel also don't forget that we do a daily podcast called the john campy show podcast go and subscribe to it today on your favorite podcasting app of choice